know those times when you're scrolling through your social media and something stops you right in your tracks? Well, that happened to me with our first guest. Their Instagram post, when I saw it, I called my team. I was like, get to booking right now because we got to talk about this post. I was just in love with it. Look at renowned fitness guru Denise Austin strutting the runway with her 28-year-old daughter, Katie. This was in August. Right, but if you're wondering what makes it so amazing, her post says, it's all me, me at 65 in a bikini with my little girl. 65? What? If you are into fitness at all, there is a good chance you've worked out with Denise. Either oh, I have on a lot of, a lot of days these legs were hurting after working out with Denise. Hundreds of videos, Instagram, TikTok, website, her career spans 40 years, breaking out in 1981 by co-hosting a show with fitness expert Jack LaLanne, then having shows on ESPN and Lifetime, including the number one exercise show in TV history, Fit and Light. Well, Denise's daughter Katie is following in her mom's footsteps. She is this year's Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition 17 magazine, named her a top 10 fitness Instagram to follow. And she has hundreds of thousands of followers on social media. Tam fam, get ready. Denise and Katie Austin! of fitness in me, it's because of you. Aww. I mean, you took me from VHS to DVD <laughs> to on demand. You've been a part of my fitness. Are you oh. never not happy? Yeah, happiest person oh, ever. Yeah. Uh, once in a while I get down, but not too often. No, right. Bring <laughs> right back up. She's <laughs> never mad at me. She's never mad at me. I, know that. I just said, you know, to the audience, I was at home over the summer, I think late summer, and I saw this post of the two of you walking together. Oh, Katie, so I mean, that's history, yeah. and it's your mama. No, it was so special. <laughs> I mean, look at her, you guys. Oh my God. <laughs> all natural, 65. All natural. And I mean, <laughs> to walk it in the, in the first place for me was such an honor for Sports yeah. Illustrated Swimsuit, but to do it with your mom is just so yeah. special. It yeah. was amazing. Look at that. I, I was honored. I, I saw you, Denise, you said, you made the emphasis on all natural. Yes, all yes. All natural. You want people... Haven't done Botox or fillers yet. Yet. I know. I'm not saying I'm not going to. Okay, okay, okay. So you, you're open to it, but you just haven't had to do anything right now, well, which is fine. Yeah. You look amazing. Oh, thank I mean, we you, We were just sweetheart. talking about your legacy in fitness. Fitness is trendy, right? I remember when I had this gadget. I remember when my treadmill then turned to a coat hanger and mm. I had my coat on it. Yes. And now you got bikes in our homes. We change our tastes and what we use in our homes for fitness, but you never went out of style. Well, thank you, honey. <laughs> I keep evolving, you know, with my age. Yeah. You know, I did the pregnancy workouts when I was I pregnant remember. with my daughters. And I, so I went with my age, honestly. And now I'm doing things for fit over 50. But honestly, you have one body. You got to take good care of it. And the best way, yes, yeah. is to exercise because it gives you energy. And no matter what type of exercise, it's good for you. Yeah. So whatever it is, whatever walking. it is, it's going to be healthful. It's going to feel good and it'll give you energy. I promise. I, I, you're living proof of it. Katie, you know, people, of course, would think, all right, her mom's in fitness, so it's natural she would be in fitness. But you've had to, you know, doors were closed. You found your own way. You didn't get this Sports Illustrated gig just because of Denise. No, I actually first auditioned for Swim Search in 2017, and I didn't get it for the first three years. So I kept trying. I was patient about it. I worked hard. And I always say, you know, my mom can open a door, but I have to walk through it. I yeah. have to do the work. And so it's been an absolute, you know, honor to have my mom as a role model and be like this legacy in the fitness industry yeah. but as you said it's changed so much throughout the years and you know she has the record for dvds and vhs and <laughs> i can't even do that so it's like it's not even they're gone do you even know what a dvd <laughs> is anymore i'm telling you i mean but it's interesting because with your mom being a fitness guru we always talk about as moms how we keep up with our kids i can't keep up with my three-year-old son you had to keep up with your mom i know i know <laughs> and by the way she's like this at like 5 a.m she wakes up like this every single day but as you were going back to you know longevity of 40 years in the fitness industry is she really practices what she preaches you know and that's I think that's true. what's so important yeah. too on how to keep her career so long is being authentic and so I learned from the best and how to be authentic let me show a then and now photo this
this was you <laughs> then and now. What year was the then? This is, I think, 1988. 88. You were 34. It, it, yes. Yeah. Yes. And then this was uh, about a year ago. I no, mean, not that long okay, ago. I'll tell you what. I kept all my same outfits, though. That's the same <laughs> outfit. <laughs> same outfit. Well, I'll tell you, like, you look amazing at 34, but your body now. It's so athletic and tall. I mean, it looks, I actually, I'm all team now right now. <laughs> and I only do 30 minutes most days. 30 minutes? 30 minutes. And feel my tummy. Oh, God. Just feel like, <laughs> Feel my tummy. <laughs> I never thought I'd do that on national. It's hard as a rock. Hard as a rock. All you have to do is good posture. Tighten up those abs throughout every, the day. Okay, Tampa. Pull in your tummy. Is that all it takes? Yes, yes. Okay. And tighten it up for five seconds, and that's equal to a sit-up. Wait a minute. So, so tighten our tummy. Yeah, for five pull it seconds. in. Uh, Good posture got it. is the key to a flat belly. So if you're sitting, your tummy has nowhere else to go but pooch out. Right. So sit up. nice and tall. Okay. You are your own architect. Okay, by well, the way that's you interesting. Sit. You're focused Stand. on the tummy. I can't stop looking at your legs. Oh, I'm well, 52. Thank you. I remember when I was many years ago, someone said to me, uh, Why are you wearing a miniskirt? You're over 40. Women over 40 shouldn't wear a miniskirt. Oh, wear what I, you want. Yeah. I, obviously, I ignored that advice. Yes. But thank look God. at your you. legs out. Out. Oh, I mean, thought, thank you. Your husband, you've been married 39 years. 39, 39 years. years. Yeah. yeah. I have the best husband, her dad. I <laughs> mean, her dad, 39 yeah. years. Do you yeah. look in the mirror and say, I'm me? Gosh, uh, look I get that. Yeah, you know, baby. Oh. There's Katie with a little jumper pants on. Is that a fanny pack? I yes. think it is. <laughs> Only when, they you're back in. In. when your mom is a fitness guru, you walk around with a fanny pack. <laughs> so cute. It's amazing. I mean, does it seem surreal? But did you think, you know, is this the career you dreamt it would be, I guess is what I'm asking. Yes, really? yes, I'm gonna cry because, um, you know, I didn't really, when you're young and you're just starting out, out after college, it, you don't know, you know, fitness was just beginning. Yeah. Aerobics in the 1980s were just starting, so I didn't know where it was gonna go. I didn't have a business plan. I just, I just felt it, I went for everything, and if I got a no, I'd try something else, open up another door, and I was persistent, and yeah. it paid off, and I tried hard. I worked really hard and I was I very more about the persistence because people take it for granted. You're such an, a life force and a ball of energy. But like anyone, you face challenges in life. And when we come back more with the one and only Denise Austin <laughs> and Katie, and we're going to get some video from their home. What is it like to live with Denise and an adorable <laughs> picture people can't stop talking about? You can't kick up <laughs> in a miniskirt, ma'am. We'll be right back. Denise is kicking up in miniskirts. Don't miss <laughs> it. <laughs> Welcome back. Today we're talking to women who are strong from the inside out, and we're back with Denise and Katie Austin, mother and daughter fitness influencer. They didn't have that term influencer when <laughs> no. you started out. <laughs> they sure did. I was so struck in the research my team told me you were part of the food pyramid construction that we all kind of follow. Yes, like this, I went to the, you know, right you there created this with, with the White House yeah. and with the Department of Agriculture and with all the top nutritionists in the country. I was on the President's Council. I'm still trying to understand fitness. why aren't there chocolate cakes and <laughs> Where can we shimmy that in? Do you eat any sweets? Oh, oh yes. yes. You do? Of course. Yeah. I eat well 80% of the time, and then I love my treats 20% of the time. And that could be a glass of wine, that could be a hamburger like I had last night. Okay. It could be, you know, it all depends so you the have, day. Do you, have, do you believe in that splurge day? Or are you splurging? No, I, I do a little each day. But we day. believe in yeah. portion sizes. Portion so we, sizes. You know, we eat intuitively, kind of like whatever our body's feeling, what we want. But, you know, if it is that chocolate cake, maybe not eating the whole thing and getting that satisfaction. In, but honestly, following what our body says. So yeah. it's okay to indulge and enjoy yourself, especially with the holidays coming up. That's okay. You know, yeah. we want you guys to enjoy yourselves. Well, I like it because you both look healthy. I mean, we also know that you sometimes go on social media and there are fit fluencers, and you think, I don't want it to look like that. Not yeah. to judge. It takes Some too much are work. So, or they are really, really <laughs> emaciated, and people think that that's fit. Both of you have healthy figures that people would want to look Thank like. You. Thank you. We believe in healthy yeah. and, and a good mind too, a good positive attitude is so important. Do you have a big gym at home? My team mm. said you, you, do you I don't. exercise, you don't <laughs> exercise at home? Well, listen, I love to work out home, but all I do is put my little exercise mat there. I have a couple leg weights. I, I use a couple dumbbells. This is it's at home? Right there in my house. That's my office. I just put out my ball there. I do little stretches. I personally 
personally uh, don't have a big gym or so anything. So you don't think we need a big gym? I walk for stuff. fitness. You and walk I love to be outdoors. Walk. Oh, I walk for 30 minutes. Like that? Yes, yeah. I try oh, to she walk fast. But pumps. also, I think one of her greatest mottos is your muscles don't know if you're in a fancy gym or just in your living room. And so ah. what we love to do is like making working out accessible for every single person. You know, we believe in 30 minute workouts, nothing too intimidating, like not the, the crazy, you know, hour long hit workouts because you have to find what works right for your body too. I love this. You you actually posted a picture, Katie, of, of a retro outfit that belonged to your mom, leotards. Yes. Um, your mom wore it. Let's yes. Say, These are all this. the oldies. These are all the leotards. She actually wore every single one of these she kept them you guys i tried to do a photo shoot with some of her old they look so modern she has i feel like leotards back <laughs> then looked like they were cut up to oh, here oh, 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 these are all ones that your mom wore oh, yes yeah, that oh, yeah. was did yeah. you archive all of your outfits that you've worn you know what they're in all kinds of duffel bags <laughs> I, have, I have tons of duffel bags <laughs> everywhere and they're just i just pull things out all the time and they go how many with, leotards do you have after so, Oh, I gave away so many throughout the years. You know, being in the industry 40 years, I have tons of leotards. Do you know how many hours of exercise you've recorded? Oh, oh gosh, I don't even good know the answer question, to that. honey. Well, I was on television for 24 years. Oh. Every show was a half an hour. So, wow. um, yes. 24, 24 years. years, half an hour. We'll have to yeah, consult well, with some mathematicians. I'm not I don't good know at math. that. You have a, another daughter, and she yes, is in the me. spiritual wellness space. Yes, she is, and she's doing so great. Kelly Austin, yeah. and she is... There so she good. is, my oldest daughter. I have two daughters, yes. and she's a little more shy, oh. like my husband. Yeah. <laughs> but at the same time, she focuses on mental health, which mental is so health amazing. Mental health and you know, She's taught us how to meditate and, you know, to really dig deep and how to be alone with yourself. You know, we're such, like, go, go, go people. So she really brought in the mental health side as well, which has been so, so amazing Which for is us. interesting. Yes. What do you do, Denise, for mental health? That's, you know, in the zeitgeist these days, people ask you, how are you taking care of you? Yeah. You were juggling this empire creating a whole new awareness of fitness that was not around right. and raising two kids. What's self-care like for you? Well, I would walk a lot, and I think walking gives me that freedom in my mind. I don't, you know, listen to music. I just get out and walk with nature, and I think that helped me through the years. I have a great husband who, you know, helped me so much. I mean, works full-time. He's a sports lawyer, yeah. but at the same time, he was very helpful and supportive. I have uh, a lot of sisters that would come on the road and help take care of me, wow. and my daughters when they were babies, and my mom. Um, so I had a lot of support. Did you and ever I think of quitting or retiring? No, I, I just, love still, what I did. <laughs> she's still going. I, I love, it. love it. I'm happy you never, ever stop. I'm telling you that I probably could dig in my vaults of right now and find a VHS. I should have brought it to have you sign it. Uh, rock it hard app. eBay, rock hard. Yeah. I have, I have them Rock all. aerobics. I have all of them.